going to be an amazing match as right. we've seen him do great things, not only versus Tear Bear recently, but also, um, who did he play? Where he, was it? Was it? I don't think it was Afro that he fought where he caught the sick or No, no. Slayers. Yes. Yeah. So that's yeah. another thing to know, guys. Wow. Earlier, Crazy. SS versus Slayers happened. SS was all over Slayers. And at this one point, SS just caught this clutch board smash slaying Slayers at like a low percent, lower than like 70. I think it was like. First of all, how much damage does a board smash even deal? Dude, with, I'm. Uh, <laughs> with, uh, with, uh, I think all I know is that right. is a ton of damage, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all you need to know. I, I swear Slayers was like around 40 or 50, and then he just got forward smash and just died from the center of battlefield. Right. So we're going to see a really good game here. SS versus Afro, Rosalina versus Villager. Yeah. Whew. And so Afro is also a person who's actually been uh, causing some kind of upsets. He's always been known as a really good player. Yes. Um, he was a PR down here in SoCal for a while yeah. until he went up. Went off, he went to Japan for a bit, and then came back, and everyone thought, okay, we all didn't really understand the game. That's kind of why he got ahead. You know, there, there was doubters there. And this man just comes through this tournament and just says, hey, I'm I'm here. I'm here. And he's putting in a lot of work. Yeah, man, representative of Planet Glo Global and Afro, currently a free agent. I think we're about to go, s we're about to see a sick match right here. Yeah. yeah all right, here we go. Let's do it. For us, SS game one. Yeah, on the, the other side of Losers 8. All right. So this is going to be the biggest concern here. You're going to see the gravity pool come into play a lot. And I think one of the main things in neutral you're going to see is if SS is going to be able to bait out these gravity pools. And of course, gravity pools saw a play. A lot of people just argue, is, okay, if you play a character that's a zoner, you automatically get shut down. Not necessarily. It is something that is really important neutral. And if, like I said before, if you can go ahead and bait it out, you get some things done, as we're seeing right now. Wow. Oh, <laughs> there Luma goes Luma. Is gone. Strike. She can't even handle that. Yeah, that was ridiculous. And right there, you see a perfect example of why it's so hard to juggle Rosalina. That dare having such great priority from below Rosalina, making it difficult for SS to sometimes pursue Afro when he's in midair. All right. Okay, good jab. Ooh, but that dare is going to go right through. Those turn up aerials are so good. Yeah, man, that RNG so far looking like it's working out in yeah. uh, SS's favor. The last two attempts with the up air, not quite, yep. as he only saw one turn. Right. All right, good jab pressure right here. Yeah, okay, fortunately, oh, apologies. Fortunately for SS right there, uh, there's less block stun on projectiles. Right. But still, that does not mean that Rosalina is any less of a threat. Absolutely. Okay. The gravity pulls there, steals those things. And right now, we're seeing a fairly even game. Oh, this is quite true. You can see SS just trying to see if he can rack up that damage on yep. by using the Lloyd missiles. I think one of the major things in the course of the set is going to be not only how well they're dealing with gravity pull, but also how well Afro can deal with staying on stage. Because he gets hit off stage, of course, as we know, Rosalina does not have a hitbox when he goes for up and those four smashes will absolutely destroy it. So that's going to be something big, too, if he's able to come off stage, especially yep, right. with a stage like Smash Bros. What we just saw here was a crucial moment in the match. There is no more. Wow. No more Luma, but regardless, this man Afro managing to come back on stage. Yeah. If he can get rid of Luma again, knock Rosalina off stage, and this time force, try to fake out that he's pursuing Rosalina, and then after that, Ooh, oh, that that's actually pretty good right there. Nice <laughs> dare. Dang. What I was going to mention was that if he could set up for a bowling ball kill, but that dare will take it. All right. Okay, he's going to set up that Lloyd rocket. Going only taking 93%. A lot of sure. damage right there. He can on Luma. Yeah. Luma, Luma about to be dead. Yeah, almost looked like she was about to get knocked off stage, but goes right back to its rifle owner. Yeah. The neutral right there by Afro, trying to knock SS off stage, but there goes Luma again. Wow, okay, Luma is offline. This is definitely the time to make a move. He's playing patient this time around, I wonder why. Yeah, right, especially now that Luma's gone. I mean, you could really uh, uh, approach. I mean, there's no there's no three-frame drab. Yeah. I believe it's three or four, regardless. Okay. Because once you take away that Luma, Rosalina's jab is eight frames, yeah. similar to Palatina. So that's something that, that's a tool that you want to get take away from her. Yeah. Nice, Ooh, stopping wow. the charge on a neutral B. Really good. Headshot right there with the swing yeah. shot. Smart, oh, wow. okay. Good bowling ball. Luma still in play. Smart dash attack just to put SS in the air, away from the edge. Almost got hit by that back air, but that Lloyd rocket to the rescue. Yeah, just absorbing that hit right there. Okay, and this is looking kind of dangerous right now for Afro. Of course, he's playing one of the lighter characters in the game. And, wow, I thought that was about to kill. 
But playing one of the lighter characters in the game, especially right now, being behind, that's it. Wow. Wow, that was what you call a checkmate right there yeah. from Panda Global <laughs> Zone SS. Just kept pressuring Afro to the edge with numerous attempts uh, to slingshot Rosalina as she was, you know, basically DIing towards the edge. And what happened right then and there, you saw a perfectly placed forward smash, that bowling ball sending Afro straight into the gutter, I guess. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Off into Animal Crossing, man. But man. that's exactly what we were talking about before. Just having the, having the fact that once she's off stage, it's going to be so hard for Rosalina to be able to come back. Just, of course, great wall, great advancing wall up by SSS, and then SS, and then he was able to take it out with that quick bowling ball, and that was it. All right, guys, and now we're going to see. This is a pretty good decision right here by Afro. The platforms can definitely assist with pressuring Villager whenever you launch Villager in the, in the air. And you could even pursue him even further if you were to use the tri platform format to go to the top and get our earlier KOs with the up air. Absolutely. So let's see what happens here in this matchup as Afro right now is in control of the corner. Yeah, Afro already off to the races here, okay? Good up tilt. Ooh, I like that challenge right there from SS. That's definitely going to make Afro hesitate later down the line in terms of him going for some up air strings. And you can see Afro's just really using that gravitational pull, knowing that there isn't that much cooldown after you use the move. So right. you might as well just short hop use it and then bear upon landing, which you just see him do, did a couple times there. Yeah. And yeah, Afro almost got a confirm off that Lloyd rocket yeah. from the gravity pull. That was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just spacing himself away from the slingshot so that if he does absorb, he doesn't have to worry about getting it. And right there, the Lloyd rocket actually hitting. J I was about to call him Jamma because yeah. of his tag, right. SS. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, good jabs. Dude. Oh, I love the empty odds. Yeah, this matchup is pretty interesting. And I like how Villager's jabs, he could just keep, uh, you know, wailing at yeah. the opponent. He doesn't have to worry about having a finisher. That has a lot of, like, cooldown afterwards, right? Right. It puts the opponents in, like, an uncomfortable situation. A nice pressure right there from off stage. That Lloyd Rocket opens up uh, a whole bunch of opportunities for Villager. Solid pressure yeah. right there. Wait in oh, anticipation no. of the smash attack. Blocks it and tosses after off stage. It's wow. getting closer and presents them. Yeah, and he, did you see right there? He actually challenged Rosalinda's dare with his own up air and won. That was pretty crazy. Oh, ho, ho. the movement. That was a little bit afraid of right there while he was riding the Lloyd. Good avoidance of the up air. That thing would definitely KO. That's oh, going for the wow. up smash. Okay. No fear right there. I guess that was a basically a jump read or waiting for him to release shield. Yeah. After responding back with a smash of his own, but SS is still on stage. Okay, good grab right there. He's going to throw him off stage. And I'd like to see some uh, better edge guarding coming from Afro right now. I feel like he's been giving too much respect on SS and he's paid the price for it. Hasn't really gotten these kills that could have happened earlier. It looks like uh, Afro definitely has to make some adjustments because he gets a lot of the other players that he's been playing. Wow. Crazy knockback, oh. but he manages to get the KO on SS. So one of the things that I've seen him do is set up with the uh, desync jabs, or hit, you know, right near the edge. But SS keeps recovering about the stage, yeah. so he can't quite use that to his advantage. And instead, he has to keep uh, absorbing the Lord rockets that SS keeps putting above the edge when off stage. So hopefully, we see some adjustments from Afro where he'll just put himself out there, use an attack right before the hitbox of the Lloyd Rocket is active, and just knocks yeah. SS and closer to the blast zone. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up, because I think that's one of the biggest things, too. I feel that he's relying too much on Gravity Pool, when in fact, Lloyd Rocket, it, I believe the hitbox only comes out around frame 33. 30, Look at that, frame that's 34. late. Yeah. Okay, trying to see if he can go for the dash attack grab there. He's in a good position, though. 70 percent yeah. currently on Villager, almost there. The bears? Oh, oh wow. I love like the he, invincible pocket he used right there. Yeah, it's very yeah, smart. That. It looked like he kind of used that to fade back a little right. bit. Get some more aerial momentum. Okay, good for though. Yep, okay. looks like S is getting a little bit too defensive near the edge, and that's why Afro's getting these grabs. Okay, good DI out of the jabs right there. SS wow. trying to see if he can set up for the forward smash. That actually would have ended Ooh, Rosalina, nice but yeah. we see Afro get the KO right there with an up smash. Wow, this match up is getting really exciting. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Very unfortunate right there from SS. Went, went ahead, did a full hop fair. I'm not sure if he wanted that, but he ended up landing on the platform. And, of course, he was able to catch him on the platform. You do not want to be above someone in this game. So what do you think he's going to go for now for this counter pick? Uh, let's see. So the first game was in Smashville. Uh, I don't think SS could actually go back. He won there, but it looks like Afro agreed to it. Unless, what's well, first game on Talent City? I believe it was on Smashville. 
It was Smashville, right? So we're back on Smashville. Afro agreed to it. Gentlemen's okay. Claws. All right, we're moving go. on. Yeah. All right, so game three right here. Of course, guys, this is loser side. So loser of this will go home. Yep, and then since this is a loser's eighth, uh, we're only going to see two out of three. Yeah. Uh, the rules for this tournament is that only semis to finals will be the out of five. Right, that's right. Great up smashes. Yep, just capitalizes on landing, which is really good. Uh, one thing that Rose Lily that really excels at, you know? Yeah. It makes it hard for people to land on the stage. Yeah, absolutely. She has great disjoints already, as is. And of course, the up smash, just a trademark of all the Mario characters, has a partial invincibility or intangibility on top of the head. So, really good deal. Wow, wow. risky business. And right there, we have Luma out of play. Okay, that was good. Deal. Actually, it was a risky situation for SS. Got yeah. himself susceptible to an up smash. Yeah, so watch himself when he's using that Lloyd Rocket. Mm -hmm. Better to release it than to uh, commit to actually riding it. Absolutely. I think he's been getting away with that gimmick a little too much, just running right into Luma. And of course, when you run into an object, you actually have no lag, so you jump off, do whatever you want. But looks like Afro's catching on. Yep. I have to say that was amazing DI though from those from Jab Three after. Uh, after the uh, jab combo on yeah. SS, I like him to stay alive. Now we have SS playing from behind quite a bit too. What a change up from the uh, previous games. Oh, tries to go over there. Oh, is that going to kill? Wow. Looking like a uh, villager's 14 frame grab, biting yeah. him back. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Not catching anything today. So now, what I want to see from SS is again, I feel like he's just kind of been going in and out, and he's been going airborne too, too preemptively. And every single time Afro's been hitting him up, and he's just been racking up a ton of damage. Well, right now we do have uh, a, a lone Rosalina on the field. Yep. So SS c needs to make something happen. He needs to stop being wow, hesitant. And there that's it great. is. The Axe Murderer so SS. He's <laughs> so <Man>. strong. <laughs> just gets the stock right there <laughs> yeah. with the beat swing. OK, he's going for it. OK, this time, I respect it. There was a tree there, but look, look what's happening now. Up airs, another up air. Oh, there he is again, riding. Ooh, good back air. Yeah, I love the recognition from uh, Afro. Understanding that he got the midi up air, and midi up air and the up air is a true combo. Okay, let's see what Asus goes for now. Still opting for a lot of projectiles. Probably trying to bait out the gravitational pull, but is it too little too late? Yeah. Oh, the gravitational pull just hits him right on his landing. There. A good usage of the Nair as Rosalind was trying to land. Luma was on the ground to cover. Another one. And I really like what he's doing there. He's going for the gravity pull, and then at the very last second, of course, because uh, Luma's still able to act even though Rosaline is landing, and he goes for the Nair right there. And that's been catching SS off guard at all. A ton. And I love that he's actually been saving that until this game three. It's so important to save little things like that when you're going against you know a high caliber player. Yeah, and actually in the earlier games, you'd see him go for back air. This time he's mixing it up. Yeah. Okay, edge guard. Oh, try to get the two frame punish. Wow. Lucky jump cancel into the grab. Okay, let's see. Oh, and right there, Luma's gone. Here's an opportunity for SS to make it happen. Okay. If he gets hit by a forward smash during this Wow. What a way Man. to go. The forward throw kill. Basically, over committing right there when he was on the platform, right. he got really aggressive. Probably realized that this was a tense situation and wanted to make a comeback against Afro. But he overextended himself, and then Afro got that fourth throw at the opportune time, ending SS's run. 